100% Chelsea. Hello everyone. Hope all of you are doing well. Um, a quick video just to address all of you. Obviously on yesterday's game, um, Chelsea Crystal Palace at Sellers Park where I was originally meant to be there. Um, I do apologise for no fan cams and nothing except a hangout yesterday because that was not the plan. Um, but up until yesterday morning, I was pretty much ready to go to, to Sellers to to watch the game and to give all of you guys those videos. Um, but I received news yesterday morning that my grandmother had passed away. Um, it's still a pretty hard time for, for both me and and my family. Um, it's only just now I've dropped my dad at the airport so he can go and attend the funeral. But um, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's pretty hard. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know and address it because you guys deserve to know, you know, 100% Chelsea is not just for myself or Louis or Dan or for anyone. It's there for all Chelsea fans and football fans. And um, you will have a right to know as to why there was no fan cams yesterday when there should have been. As I said, that was my plan. I was ready to go. Everything was set up um, until I received that news yesterday morning. As soon as I woke up, I heard and yeah, um, I, I, I couldn't do it. It also reminds me of... Um, I don't know if you guys remember Frank Lampard, Chelsea Liverpool, when um he found out his his mother had, had had died and passed away, and he he played and he scored, and I it, you only understand when you actually lose someone that how hard that must have been. Because yesterday I honestly did not want anything to do with football, nothing at all. I didn't I didn't watch the game. I, I to be honest, I I have no idea what had happened. I, I all I knew is that we won three 0 That was it. Um, it was only afterwards, very, very late into the evening, I saw the goals and I managed to just catch myself up a bit. Um, but I, I didn't watch the game. And when when you go through something like that, it's only then you realise like what, what someone like Frank Lampard actually did. And pff, I have even more respect for the man now. Because as I said, it's only when you reach a moment like this, you really realise what it means. Um, but on yesterday's game, as I as I want to say um, it's a good result. I'm happy. You know, 3-0, it's great. Have we turned that corner? I don't know because, as I said, I didn't get to watch the whole game. I, the highlights I did watch and the goals, which were tremendous, um, William and Costa and Oscar, great to see. Um, and, you know, Mikel, the African Zidane, and that's why we call him the Lord on 100% Chelsea. From the moment this channel started, we called him Lord Miguel. So um, I think that's that's pretty much outlining why his performance yesterday makes him the Lord. <laughs> um, but hey, just for I would address all of you on, on this issue. Um, it's a shame because Crystal Palace was a game I really, really wanted to go to. Um, but hey, more important things at the moment. And um, yeah, it, it's a pretty hard time. But life goes on. Have to have to keep looking forward and um, focus on the next games. Where the next games, everything will resume back to normal, and I will be there, and you'll get the fan cams and all the reaction to to, to the games going forward from now. So um, again, thank you all for your understanding. I hope all of you do understand, um, and thank you all for watching. As I've said before. Check out all the social media links in the description. Um, and I apologise for, for missing out on, on Palace. The game where we really did show, you know, what Chelsea should be playing like, as I've heard. So hopefully it keeps going and we keep it up. And the next game forward, we'll be back to normal. So um, thank you all for watching. Subscribe to 100% Chelsea if you're new. Um, as I said, this is just an update for all of you. So again, I apologise and thank you all for understanding. I will see all of you really, really soon.